I'm going to show one of the ways to discharge batteries using the ISDT charger. It's the SC608 150 watt charger. Basically, I have five 3S packs that I didn't fly today and some 4S packs that I want to fly tomorrow. So basically, we have Ma here, a milliamp hours here, that we want to put here. So you can do that by make, getting a, a parallel board like this. So we're going to parallel discharge. We don't need the balance plug in this scenario. Putting an XT60 on it and using that to power um, however you power your charger. The important thing is we don't want to suck these batteries down too low. So what we do is on the main screen, we hold the button down, the click button on the side. And what we're gonna do is minimum input voltage. We're gonna set this to a value where we would not want these batteries to go below. I'm gonna choose 11, which will bring these right down a little bit below storage. And that should do the trick. And then what we do is we have our batteries set up here to be parallel charged on our main screen. We're simply just going to start a charge cycle. So we'll go to charge. And it's a these are LiPos, 4S. Uh, let's see, we got three of them. So we can do safely, if we're going to do 1C, we could do 3.9 amps. Let's take it to, we'll do like 4.2. A little bit over 1C per battery start. Now what's going to happen here, uh, we'll see our input voltage. So we have the fully charged 3S batteries and now we're going to start pulling some amps out of them. And if we check back on our other batteries, so we're starting to go up. We're getting our 4 amps. Simple as that. So this is a totally wireless, no power in here except other lipos. You could also take these and charge it to say your car battery. Uh, something like this wire here. So I got alligator clips on one end, XT60 on the other. So I'd be able to run this out uh, and, and be able to charge uh, to my car battery. Your car battery will always be able to take million power. So that's the cool thing about that. So anyway, yeah, that's how you move some milliamps around. Um, what we're getting here is a higher discharge rate. A lot of chargers won't let you discharge more than, say, maybe less than an amp. So now we're pulling 4.2 amps. We're going to bring these down. And we're also not wasting any energy because we're putting them somewhere where we need them. Hope this helps you guys. Good luck.